the way that the agent is going to solve the problem is not a way that humans ever considered solving a problem. And therefore, they may take actions on the infrastructure that have never been seen before. It's hard to log. It's hard to monitor. It's hard to do all those things if we don't have any previous examples. I don't know. Pick one or two of those, please. I'll do the best I can. This was like the lightning round here. Of all legitimate concerns, you just took five pieces of string and you made a furball out of it. And what we are simply saying is, look at the five different or six different problems. Oh my God, how do we do this? Because we're understanding there's interrelations. We're understanding people process and technology. We're understanding friction. So you threw it all together and go, it looks like I can't do anything about it. As an engineer, my job is to take very hard problems that don't seem to be solvable and not to come up with a magic solution that's bang, it's all done. Let us take a look at the problem and incrementally solve it till we get to an acceptable outcome. So I'm going to tease apart the strings more and more. And that's what an enterprise solution is for large problems, because it's not just a technology thing. It's the people process of technology. AI agents and the first gen of AI worker are fundamentally executing existing human processes and runbooks where we know what deterministic outcome looks like. So we've already figured out what it is and we're training it to act the way that we act. The speed of ingestion, the speed of insight and the speed of action allows us to take the human process and the human outcome that we know, test it, and it might come up with a few new ideas. It can see more breadth, more depth, just go faster. So a human would have eventually done it. We're not going to be afraid of that. We'll go down that path. But where it can lead to is what if we now have a super child? We know that we have a genius. So what we're going to do is we're going to load you with everything that we as humans have done and have learned how to do in the last 30 years to be a SOC analyst. And now we're going to turn you loose as not the execution of the processes and evaluated for that, given that as knowledge. Go think about how you want to solve the problem, not just solve the problem better for the problem as we have decided it needs to be solved. And that's where people get very uncomfortable now. That's where you're getting to. Totally non-deterministic. Now we're afraid of what its potential outcome is. This is where we as a society are coming to grips with technology's interaction with our societal norms and deciding what are the rules of engagement, how are we comfortable?